beautiful day. Sun is shining. It's about in the mid 50s. It's really, really windy. You can't really tell it right here, but it's cooking. About 20, 25. You can see that sign blowing pretty good there. Many, many leaves on the trees now to tell. We got a. Uh, I went through a store shopping today. Didn't find anything for cages. But while I was out, I got a call from a lady. She bought me a. I met her. She got me a block of knives there. Analogs, most of them. And then there's a emerald, Santuco, and a OX. What is that one? OXO, I think it's called. You know, they want to make the soft animals. And this one, I can't quite make out what this one is. Anyway, she's going to pick them up tomorrow morning from the Saturday night gig. So I'm just going to sharpen them today and have them ready for it tomorrow. Mumbles, man. Uh-oh, what we got here? Something must be coming. FedEx. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's probably something Chris ordered. Anyway, the Mumbles man has got bit uh, honey doing we'll see how that goes he can't go I can't go I could go but I'm not gonna go set it right in my truck there for me buddy something for the lady at the house anyway the mumbles man he's got the honey doing he might be able to go he said he's tied up really till Sunday and the day is only Friday so I'm gonna try to go tomorrow after the gig look for some buttons maybe the tide's early in the morning, you know, low tide. You have to get up at 5 o'clock to make the low tide. What? That ain't going to happen. Not at Rancho Max, anyway. Okay, stand by. I'll get back to you. I'll probably add this into tomorrow's video, so I don't have to worry about this little short job here. Take it easy. Well, Jack's in his new house. And Dick, uh, Dottie's in her old house, or Jack's old house. They both seem to be content in their cages. Unbelievable. After 12 years or 10 years or <laughs> how long it's been. <laughs> you turkey, you. And you too, little turkey. She's going to the veterinary this morning for the first time. I don't know what that's going to be like. As shy as she is. I guess I'll get to report when I get back. <laughs> Tell him, Jack. Well, I'm headed to East Beach Gig. This place is right alongside the Little Creek Amphibious Naval Base and all the marinas. You can see all the boats and stuff here. There's a big marina here that works on boats. Got a little restaurant right there. This is East Beach Community from the backside. This is a neat little community right here, I'm telling you. And all these little teeny single family homes. They're really cool too. They'll shade close together, but they're nice. There's a big condominium complex that's going up there. There's another complex back there. And these are little brick, brick townhouses or apartments or something right through here. It's a mixed development place. It's, it's really nice. And a steady building. Look at that one right there. Unbelievable. Stand by. We're almost there. It's setting up. I have to go over this little hump right here. Stand by. Vegetable man. Seafood man, big cheese car. Stand by, we're here. Cup look up. We're all set up. What a few of us there are. Vegetable guys, chicken guys, bread lady, head guru. And I got my first customer. Got a Wustoff Santuco and a Cuisinart Santuco. I better back this off a little bit. There we go. Okay, stand by. Well, number three got me some uh, Hammer Chef. 
and a nice Wusthof. Okay, well, it's a beautiful day, I tell you that. Nice ticket. I like it. And a few microchips right along the tip part, which is not uncommon. Well, got five more. I don't know what this one is. I've never seen one like it. International Henkel. A case. Eight serrated. Wow. And a big serrated fabware. And another International Henkel. Okay. What's the Indian going, Jack? Look, big old Jack. What do you think? Indian. Just as I thought I was through with knives, a lady called me and said, I got a knife I need sharpened. Can you pick it up today and sharpen it tomorrow? And it just so happened she only lived about 10 minutes with me. Picked her knots. An encounter with the closest kind. Go ahead, kiss her. Look at my ears, they pull back tight. What? You better not mess with that black thing. The black thing will be all over you. I know you want to try it, don't you? <laughs> Look at that big old man, dude. What do you think? Are you scared of that doggy? So I ain't scared of that doggy. I ain't scared of nothing. Not even a lion. Especially big old Jack. Yeah, you see her, don't you? Mm, I can sneak up on her. So we ended up today with uh, 25 knives. Not a bad day considering I didn't think it was going to be many knives. And there weren't many vendors, but a lot of people had come out, you know. It was a beautiful day, that's why. But we didn't do as much business at the end as we anticipated because we were on that winter schedule. Instead of being from 9 to noon, it's from 10 to 1. So after 12 o'clock, we didn't have hardly any people. I got lucky and a lady brought me, uh, I say a lady, it was a guy who brought me uh, that bag of chef's knives. I think it was five or six. I forgot now how many it was. Five, I think. That was right at 1230, so that worked out pretty good. I got some reports from the land of Nala. The Mumbles man, he went down, but he went down for a wedding, a family wedding. They wanted to get some of his relatives or something got married on the beach. And I got two more reports. A lot of nice yellow today. Nice chain with a big cross on it. Uh, a couple other rings that were, I don't know about today so much as the other rings, but one of my other buddies found four rings this week. Looking at the pictures, I can't determine if they're gold or, or what they are, but I know at least two of them are. But I'm not going to add them here because it's top secret stuff. You can't see it. I have to kill you if I show it to you. Me and the Mumbles man are planning on to go tomorrow, surf church Sunday. And the temperature is supposed to drop 20 degrees or 30 degrees. It's supposed to be in the 40s tomorrow, which we haven't seen anything like that yet. But it's also supposed to rain brick bats. So if it's 40 and raining, I'll be a Rancho Max all day. No go out. Other than that knife I showed you earlier, i got to take that back to the lady after 2 o'clock. 
that one nice Victor Knox. But if it's not raining, I can stand the 40 part. I just can't stand the 40 in the rain. We might see you in the land of Nala tomorrow for Surf Church. If so, good luck to you and good luck to us. I'll see you tomorrow, I hope.